Kildare, of course, had beaten Dublin in the quarter-final of the Leinster Championship, then took care of Leash in a semi, and on to a final with the wily old men of Mead, the tough, tackling, almost dangerous men of Mead. They've travelled here, they've strut onto the pitch. That young guy, he's really up for it. Look at the intensity in his eyes, sir. Mick O'Dwyer with a full head of hair. Mick was a great man-manager, and he was, he was a right man in the session. He brought us down to Canary one time on a team bonding session. We went to some session, I tell you, we drank enough beamish. We were lucky to get out of it alive, never mind make a Leinster final. They're looking for their first title in 42 years. A man from Germany has even came here today. We were after playing me three times the year before. You know what them hoors, there's a fair bit of niggle in it now, I'll tell you. And he kicks Kildare high, high and over the bar. He kicks Kildare into a two-point lead now. Great moustache. There's dog at them lads. You couldn't shake them off. They're like a bad relative. They brought it back level at half-time. Mead slowly pegging them back. Lovely jaw on that girl. She did an apple through a letterbox. Mick O'Dwyer will have to get them going in his second half. At half time, things were cool enough. You know, Mick O'Dwyer, we're not a bother on him now. He brought us into the dressing room, I tell you. He, I went in, and Mick was eating a ribeye steak. Not a bother. He was telling us a story about a stag he was on in Vegas. John Finn was smoking a few fags. I didn't really see the relevance of the story at the time, but done the job anyway. A great score from Anthony Rainbow. And Carlo Dwyer, the son of Mick puts it over the bar. What a transfer from Kerry he's been. I heard Kerry County Board got £200 in a pack of ham for him. And we were going right well, I tell you now. And Declan Kerrigan got a bent. You wouldn't mm -hmm. see it in time night, love of I tell you. Referee is looking, and he sent off Brendan Riley. Off he went anyway, and sure. I got the call up off the bench. I thought I'd never get a run. I was only there for the old free bit of gear. On I came anyway. As soon as I came on, Mead started firing pints on from all over the place. And Mead bring it back level again. It's the Hogan stand is rocking. Early sends it in. Dermot Early left it a ball, and I'll never forget it, because Martin had these ridiculous, massive white gloves you got off a painter. Left the ball into me and he wasn't even looking, since it's a great ball. I caught him. He was going to shoot me left. So I'll go to the right anyway. In it went. Couldn't believe it. Only on the field two minutes, and I knew. Three points for life around Kildare. Are they on the verge of a most famous win? Great day. Willie McGarry got another score then, and sure, we were up and running. Well, when the full time whistle went, the celebrations. Okay. Couldn't believe the it. The referee looks at the clock, and, and it's it. all over. We went on tour, we went to Newbridge, we went to Kildare, and Johnstown, we went all over. We went in a modern fad of a session. There's no wonder we never won a f***ing All Ireland. 1998, a great year for the Lily Whites.